Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set uh, gives us a table which says that uh, five students appeared in an examination in four semesters and the maximum marks could be scored in each of these semesters are different multiples of 100. Okay, so maximum marks are different and we are given the percentage of marks scored by these students in different semesters. Okay, now we are also given that AMBA scored equal marks in two of the four semesters difference between the marks of Hano in two of the four semesters. So we do not know which are which two semesters are they talking about, right? It could be first and second semester, it could be first and third semester, second and fourth semester, third and second semester, any two semesters. Okay, so that is not given, but from this we can figure out that what could be the uh, marks of these students. Okay, so if we know the marks in one of the semesters. Now the last point given to us is only top two students scored more than 800 marks in second semester and top three students scored more than 1000 marks in the third semester. So this is the statement that we are going to use in the beginning. Okay. So uh, if two students scored more than 800 marks in second semester and we are given that maximum marks are multiples of 100 and these are different multiples of 100. Okay. So let us start with second semester. So second semester, it says that only top two students scored more than 800 marks, right? So let us say, if, uh, let us start with some number, right? 1000, of course, no one will score more than 800, uh, 1100, 1200. So let us see if what happens if their maximum marks are 1200, right? So what are the top two students? 12, 6 is 72 plus uh, 5 is 78. So 780 and this is 840, right? So in, if we say 1200, only one student more, scores more than uh, your 800 marks, right? So if we take 1300, 1300 is 65, that will become 845. This will become 845 and this will become 910. Okay, and third will remain as 60% will be 780 if we take 1300, right? So this satisfies the condition. So let us say if it can be 1400 also. Okay, let us test with this 1400. If we take 1400, the 60% will become 840. So 1400 is also not possible. So maximum marks in second semester are 1300. Okay, so I'm writing 13, that means 1300. Now we can just multiply these. Okay, so 13 into uh, 65, we already got 845. For 55, subtract 130, we will get 715. Okay, 60% is 13, 6 is 78. Okay, and then 70% we calculated and 50% is 650. Okay, so these are the marks in the second semester. Okay, now uh, we are talking about the third semester and or top three students scored more than 1000 marks, right? So that means this, this, and this should have scored more than 1000 marks, okay? So if we see the numbers, 60% uh, se leke chalte, 60 of 1600 is 9. 1600 pe to 60 percent kitna hoga? That will be 960, okay? 1700 pe ye ho jayega, 1020, okay? Then, uh, if we take 1800, so is 1800 also possible? Yes, 1080, so ho jayega, right? But we have to also consider ki 60%, see, top 3 should go beyond 1000, right? 55 should be less than 1000. This one should be less than 1000. So if we take 55%, 55 percent so anyway 1600 is not the answer because 60 percent has to be more than 1000 marks okay uh, if we take 55 percent so uh, 60 percent is this 5 percent 85 that is 935 okay 5 percent is 90 that is 990 so this is below 9 and below 1000 at 55 percent so even if we have 1800 we still have less than 1000 marks Okay, so it can be 1700 or 1800, but let us verify using these statements, right? So, uh, first of all, if we say this, uh, 
if we consider these marks so let us calculate for 1700 as well as 1800 right and then we will decide that which one is correct okay so uh, let's put 17 into 65 a bit of calculation involved here so 17 6 are 120 uh, 102 you know so 1020850 so i'm writing for 1700 i'm writing for 1800 and we will remove uh, that accordingly okay so 70% is 1190, 18 7s are 126, okay, and then 55%, this we calculated as 935 in 1700 and 990 in this, right, so this is only for this semester only, this is not for this fourth semester, we are just taking these values so that we can uh, eliminate one of the cases using these statements, so this is the statement, eliminate it. Okay, now uh, if we see this uh, for 80, 65%, uh, 5% that is 85, uh, that will give us 1105 and 5% 5 is 90, so 1170. Okay, now we will look at these statements, right? Ampas could equal marks in two of the four semesters, not possible with any of the cases, right? Difference between the marks scored by Bhanu in two of the four semesters was 120. Okay, so not, not possible in any of these. Difference between the marks scored by Charan in two of the four semesters was 70. Okay, so let us see this if it is 70 is possible. Okay, it is possible in this case. Okay, difference between the marks scored by Arena in two of the four semesters was 20. So, Arena not possible. So, let us consider this that Charan can he have a difference of 70 marks in two semesters. Okay, so... Uh, let us think that if it is possible or not okay now see this consider this statement that charan has equal marks in two of these uh, uh two of uh sorry uh, charan has a difference of 70 marks so this is possible in case of 70 percent right so that is one thing another thing that we will consider here is amba scored equal marks in two of the four semesters see second semester we are certain the number of marks okay now, first and third. Now, what are the possibilities of getting equal marks? Okay, first and third. Is it possible to get equal marks in first and third semester? You see 65%, but that does not mean that they are equal marks. Why? Because each of these maximum marks are different. So, first or third may equal new sakte, right? So, uh, and uh, third semester, it is either this or this, right? So, it cannot be equal to uh, fourth semester because see they go kya kya equal ho sakte. first second first third first fourth right uh, second third second fourth third fourth ye possibilities hoti hai jitne equal ho sakte. first or third equal nahi ho sakte because different marks right second and third is definitely not equal okay second and fourth theke? chalo dekhte second and fourth equal ho sakte hai second is 715 right 50% is 715 14, 30 total. So, second, fourth be equal in Osaka. Third, fourth, can it be equal? So, even if you take 1105 or 1170, that is 50%, right? So, 100% will not be a multiple of 100. So, each is the same multiple of 100. So, third, fourth be equal, nahi ho sakta, right? Now, if you take uh, first and fourth, right, or it is first and second. Okay, first and fourth. Uh, First semester is getting 65% and 50%. So, uh, it has to be in the ratio. Like 65 and 50% has to be in the ratio. Uh, these marks are in the ratio 13 and 11. Right. So, max marks percentage are in the ratio this. First and second if you consider. Percentage are in the ratio this. So, marks, max marks should be in the ratio 11 ratio 13 then only the numbers will be equal right so we uh, took out these possibilities and we have found out that the numbers must be in the ratio 11 ratio 13 so let us put the maximum marks 1100 here okay for first semester maybe we will be able to get clear picture okay so if you put first semester marks 1100 so this will be 715 okay 65 into 11 uh, this will be 660 Okay, this will be uh, 55 or come to 605 
फिफ्टी परसेंट विल बी फाइव फिफ्टी एंड फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट विल बी फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी फाइव ठीक है सो फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर के भी मोर और लेस वी आर कन्फर्म ओके सो वी फिगर आउट दिस थिंग थिंक ऑफ दिस दिस कंडीशन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्क्स कोड बाय चरण इन टू ऑफ द फोर सेमेस्टर वॉज सेवेंटी देखो सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फाइव इफ यू कीप द मार्क्स सो सिक्स हंड्रेड फाइव प्लस माइनस सेवेंटी अगर करते हैं सो दैट विल बी फाइव थर्टी फाइव और सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फाइव ठीक है फिफ्टी परसेंट पे फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट पे बैठ रहा है फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट मीन्स इलेवन से डिवाइड करके देख लो फिफ्टी फाइव से डिवाइड करके देखो यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट दैट ओके सो सेवेंटी डिफरेंस इट फिट्स ओनली इन दिस क्राइटेरिया ठीक है सो ट्राई ऑल अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज यू विल नॉट गेट एनी ऑफ द नंबर वेर इन दिस सेवेंटी मार्क्स डिफरेंस इज देर ओके सो वी विल कंसिडर दिस केस राइट सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड a little bit difficult to understand but yes if you try all the possibilities you will not get 17 uh, this thing anywhere right so we will get this as 1700 now we will have to find out the marks in the fourth semester theek okay? hai maximum marks in the fourth semester so charan wali condition satisfy ho gayi amba wali satisfy ho gayi right so difference between the marks of bhanu in two of the four semesters was 120 bhanu 120 marks difference not here so maybe this will give us difference for bhanu okay and uh, arena 20 mark difference that also we have to check okay so these are the two conditions remaining and probably in this case we will be able to fill it so bhanu if bhanu has a 20 mark difference uh bhanu has 120 mark difference so 120 marks 60% like in me se dekhte hain 120 marks ka difference kahan pe aa sakta hai right so if we consider 660 se difference right if we consider 660 then plus minus 120 will give us 540 or 780 theek hai which is possible as 60% yes 845 not possible because if you take 60% uh if you take plus minus 120 you will get a number that is not 60% of a multiple of 100 okay then 1020 is also possible if you take 120 plus minus that will mean either uh, 900 or 1140 both are possible as 60% okay so that is case for bhanu right now let, will, let us take a case for arena right so arena has 495 okay so uh, the difference is 20 so 495 if we take plus minus 20 we will get 475 or 515 right we have to check for that should be a 70% number okay 70% of a multiple of 100 so not possible okay so if we take 650 the number is either 630 or 670 again 670 is not a multiple 630 is 935 if we take and plus minus 20 that will give us 915 or 935 okay 915 or 935 uh, let us divide by 7 and try to get this none of these will be uh, multiple of uh, i would say 70 right so just try that okay so this gives us that there is only one possibility which is fitting here right 630 630 70% of 900 okay and 60% of 900 is 540 so this is fitting both the criteria if we put 900 here this will be 540 60% 120 120 marks ka difference bhi satisfy kar raha hai theek hai and If we consider this sixty percent, uh, sorry, seventy percent of this six hundred and thirty, ये twenty marks का difference भी satisfy कर रहा है. So it is satisfying all the criteria. So that means the maximum marks here are nine hundred. So we can just fill the values. That will be four hundred and ninety five and sixty five. Sixty five into nine is five eighty five. So these are the marks of the students so this is how we can fill the table and get the marks of all the students in all four semesters so quite an interesting set now let us answer the questions what were the maximum marks in first semester so maximum marks in first semester are 1100 which semester had the highest maximum marks that was the third semester who got the second highest aggregate in all the four semesters put together 
ठीक है नाउ इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द सेकंड हाईएस्ट एग्रीगेट दिस क्वेश्चन कुड बी आंसर्ड विदाउट इवन फाइंडिंग दीस वैल्यूज आई विल टेल यू हाउ सो इफ वी जस्ट लुक एट द टेबल ठीक है धनवी हैज 70 70 65 राइट नो मैटर व्हाट आर द मार्क्स ओनली वन सब्जेक्ट शी हैज वन सेमेस्टर शी हैज 60 50% राइट सो 70 70 इतने पर किसी का आई नहीं सो शी मस्ट बी फर्स्ट ओके uh now if you see this uh 65 55 65 50 60 65 60 60 okay, this looks more consistent greater than 65 not taking average right but if you see this uh 60 60 60 3 semesters 65 in one of the semesters others have in 50 60s and so on so this must be the second highest right so bhanu must be the second highest so just by observation you can answer this question okay What is the difference between the marks scored by Charan and second and fourth semester? So second semester Charan scored seven eighty, and fourth semester scored four hundred and ninety five. So that gives us two hundred and eighty five. So that is the answer to the uh, questions and the solution to this interesting set.